Hello learners, I am Parikshit Saikya and welcome to the 99 percentile club. This is a final countdown video for CAT 2022. With just 5 days remaining for the CAT, what should you do in this last 5 days? How should you revise? And more importantly, how to stay motivated, right? And high on confidence during this last few hours. Remember, motivation, confidence matters a lot. And I'm going to talk all about it today, how to stay motivated, what to revise, and how to revise with just over 100 hours left for CAT 2022. Let's get started. Okay, now there is an early bird offer running for CAT 2023 aspirants, right? Ends on November 23rd. So if you are a CAT 2023 aspirant, Hurry up and subscribe because for the first time on Unacademy, there is a 30% discount on 12 and 15 month subscriptions. So the prices have been reduced from the back end. You already have a 20% discount on that. And on top of it, you can use code Parikshit Life for extra 10% discount. Also, CAT 2022, November 27, we have live updates on scores and percentiles from top educators. So do tune in on Unacademy. Okay, let's get started. Last five days, right? I mean, the day you all have been preparing so long, so hard has finally arrived, I would say. And now is the time to show what you know to others, right? Fine. Last five days. Final count. Last five days. Yes? Okay. Now, as I said, my session, this particular session, right? will be split into a few parts. Motivation, how to stay confident, what to revise, how to revise, and what to do, things to do on the D-Day, right? These few things I'm going to talk about in detail in this particular session of mine. So first point, how to stay motivated. How to stay motivated. I think there's a lot of anxiety at this point, if you ask me. How to stay motivated, right? lot of anxiety. Some of you might be feeling low on confidence, right? And I think it is very natural at this stage. But ask yourself some very basic questions. So very basic questions. Ask yourself, okay, before you feel demotivated. The first thing I'm going to ask, tell you, and it's a fact. Trust me when I say this. Mock scores no, don't matter anymore. Mock scores don't matter anymore. Don't matter anymore right now you might be scoring poorly in your mocks don't matter anymore especially if you have, and i think you are low on confidence mostly because of this reason number one mock scores right you have had poor mock scores but are the mocks a reflection of the actual cat exam no trust me in my last nine i've been teaching for over nine years now and in these nine years i have had students who have scored hardly 60 percentiles in the box, right? 50 to 60 percentile in the box. And they have got into I am Bangalore, I am Ahmedabad, just because they ended up with a 99 plus percentile on the D-Day. The D-Day score is all that matters. It doesn't matter how much you scored in the practice match. Remember in the cricket, what mattered is semifinals or probably the finals, which India fared poorly, right? This time in the semifinals. But doesn't matter what happened in the rounds before that. No one is going to talk about it. And if you observe closely, think about it. Just think logically, right? What about the mocks? Mock questions, right? Do you agree? And I think you would agree when I say that mock questions were much tougher than the actual cat are much tougher. If you look at the mock questions that probably all of you wrote, right, this last few months and compare it with the questions that you have in CAT 2021, CAT 2020, CAT 2019, you would tell me that there is a huge difference in the difficulty level, right? And why is it so? It is natural that every paper setter, mock paper setter, want to prepare you for the worst case scenario. But is it always the worst case scenario? Definitely not, right? CAT scores on the CAT paper definitely going to be much easier than the mocks that you must have written this last few months. That's the first thing. 
second thing remember when you wrote the mocks right in mocks you were judged among the best in mocks tested and you have competed you know what amongst the best so anyone okay who is probably or or gonna be a future 100 percentile in cat 2023 he must have enrolled with one of the major mac mock providers and like him so many others you have tested yourself among the best right among the best students the students who are very well prepared you have tested amongst the best on an average how many students write the mock let's say you must have enrolled with institute x for mocks you must have enrolled with an academy or for that matter any mock provider how many students might have written the mock around 20000 students let's say at the best case scenario 20000 plus students wrote the mocks right and you tested yourself and your percentile was based on the performance of these 20000 students right think about the cat and i keep telling this to all my students in the cat how many students are writing the cat you know what cat is going to be written by over 2 lakh plus aspirants 2 lakh plus you know what you tested only among these 20000 but now another 1 lakh 80000 forget about what i will take let's say a realistic scenario probably 40000 students are very well prepared 20000 With same as your mock provider and another twenty thousand probably with other mock providers, but the remaining one lakh forty thousand students, they are just entering the race right with hardly any preparation, and because they are gonna enter the race on Sunday, you are gonna thank them. Why? Because they are not gonna perform well, and because they are not gonna perform well. Remember when I say well, I only mean to say. they are going to score less than you and if they score less than you automatically your percentile is going to improve you got to keep that thing in mind and understand that you know what more and more students writing the cat means that you are benefited because your performance will improve vis-a-vis the others very very important and moment you think about all this i think you should be slightly more motivated if not very motivated but slightly more motivated For November twenty seven, the DD. Yes, mock scores don't matter anymore. Fine. So remember this and stay motivated. The second reason why you should stay motivated is CAT is only one of the many exams. CAT is only one of the many exams. One of the many exams, and I think it's very very essential. that you understand this that cat is only one of the many exams now why the i stress and i emphasize on this point the reason being you know what the examination season had just started what are the exams you are going to write you are probably going to write the zat you are going to write the nmat you are going to write the snap right you are going to write the iift yes you are going to write maharashtra ct maat ct you are going to write the tisnet and so many i mean i'm not going to list out the entire names but you know what cat is just one of the exams do you need to crack all these seven eight exams that i just mentioned no you just need to crack one exam let's say you decide to crack the snap or you decide what you do well in the snap paper and you crack the snap fine doesn't matter whether you crack the cat doesn't matter whether you were able to crack the iift no it was no it doesn't you will get into symbiosis pune sibm pune and probably come out with a 20 25 lakh package feel happy about it because you would have anyway got a similar package right in let's say if you get into an iim so cat is just one exam and i'm going to show you something Or on the next slide, right? This was, Gaurav is one of my students. He was my student last year on an academy in CAT 20 and wrote the CAT 2021. This is one of his LinkedIn posts, right? And he wrote this post after he got into IMT Gaziabad. I'm just going to read this for you so that you stay motivated at this stage. What is has he written? Let's read it. Okay, this is Gaurav, an academy student, my student last year. 
and he is currently into IMT Ghaziabad. Three days before my ZAT exam, I remember telling my dad, I won't be giving ZAT now. Mentally exhausted and having performed terribly in my CAD exam just a few weeks before, I was ready to give up hope for my MBA. Yet, I drove 100 kilometers that early morning to give my exam and I'm so glad that I did. Those who have been in touch with me know that the previous year had been tough and full of overwhelming challenges for me and it feels good to finally end it with a good note. Why he says end it with a good note? Remember that is one of the last exams that you actually write and he didn't perform well in the exams before this. He also goes on to say, it gives me immense pleasure to announce that I'll be pursuing IMT Ghaziabad's flagship two-year MBA program and he also has received offer from NMIMS Mumbai, NMIMS Bangalore and Exai MB. And after careful consideration, I decided to go ahead with IMT as my final choice. Remember, why I'm showing you this, the guy did not perform well in the CAD. But was it that he lost hope? No, he didn't. He wrote the exam after the CAD. And as I said, it's just about one exam that you need to do well. And then he uh, puts in a thank you note to me and tags me on LinkedIn. And then he says, uh, and then he talks about an exciting journey awaits. The purpose of showing you this is to remind you that CAT is not just the only exam. So don't put all your eggs in one basket. It is not a do or die situation on November 27th. If you are prepared well, if you are high on confidence, if not the CAT, you are going to CAT crack one of these exams and that's more than sufficient. You don't need to crack any I mean, multiple exams, right? If you can, good, well. But if you cannot, I think it's perfectly fine, right? What else should you remember? And what else should you remember at this stage, right? The another thing that you stay, need to remember at this stage is, another thing that you need to remember at this stage is, the motivation, right? You need to work hard. You need to work hard in this next few days. Need to work hard. And the reason... People who attend my class, right, know this very well. I just give a simple reason. You need to work hard next 100 hours. Next, if not 100 hours, at least next 72 hours. And I'm going to tell you what you need to do in this next 72 hours, okay? I'm going to tell you in details. But before that, you need to work hard next 72 hours. Someone might ask me, sir, why do you say so? And for me, people who attend my classes, I give a simple justification. You know what? An average Indian student who does not belong to, let's say, an IIT or one of the premier institutes in the country, on an average, earns a, how much package? 3 lakhs. This is a 3 lakh per annum CTC. He gets a 3 lakh per annum. 3 lakh, 4 lakh per annum CTC post your graduation, post your engineering, right? 3 lakhs. And why I say that you need to work hard? You know why? Because you will simply add one zero on the right hand side. You will simply need, if you work hard, you're going to add this zero to the right hand side. This zero extra. That's all. Doesn't make a difference. Yes, three lakh per annum CTC. Work hard, get into a top B school. It becomes a 30 lakh per annum CTC placement numbers. Three lakh to 30 lakh, one extra zero is all that matters and because of which you really need to work hard these next 72 hours, I don't, I don't say 96 hours, 72 hours, Saturday, the 26th of November, I want you to rest and I'm going to talk about that as well. But definitely, this should, this should motivate you to work hard for the next few hours. Concentrate and work hard. Fine? Okay. This part was about the need to stay motivated and the need to work hard, right? Okay. Next part. The next part I'm going to talk about what, how you're going to do and what are you going to do, right? What are you going to revise this last few days? Revision strategy. Revision strategy. Revision strategy. Okay. If someone has questions, right? I, I saw that some of you are asking me questions on YouTube, but I'm going to answer that at the end of the class so that the flow is not broken. Okay. If you have questions, just... Just keep it pending. Last 10 minutes of the class, I'm going to give you time to answer, to ask questions and I'm going to answer them. Okay. Now, revision strategy. How many hours to go? Up till Sunday, 27 is your exam, right? 
November 26, no study. November 26, just relax, just relax, okay? No studies on November 26. So revision till November 25, okay? Revision, revision, fine? Okay. Now what are you gonna revise? What are you gonna revise? That's very, 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 very important, okay? Now at this stage, I would strongly recommend that you do not learn something new. If you have not done, let's say, PNC, you don't have to do PNC because what you did not do for a year, you can't master it in the next two days, right? So you don't have to do that. Don't do anything new, okay? In this revision that you need to focus on, remember, there are three areas. There are three areas. For any student, there are areas that you are strong in. There are areas that you are actually very strong in. There are areas which are great to you, okay? And there are areas where you are where you are weak. You don't have to do anything. The weak areas, don't touch them. What you could not do for the last one year, you cannot do it now. Strong areas, maybe sometime, maybe sometime in the strong areas. But your focus should be in this gray area, should be in this gray area in this next three days. Now, when I say gray, let me emphasize what am I talking about. Probably, you know what, you want to, you, you are not very comfortable with, or probably you did number system some long time back. You did number system some long time back. And now you feel that, you know, you know what, you're not very confident, but you have done number system. That's important. You have done number system. Spend some time revising your notes. Spend some time probably going through some of the questions of number system, right? Because you never know something which you have already know, but on the day of the exam, you can't recall. You don't want that scenario, right? You know what? At this stage, you should be very, very confident of what you have studied. I, I always give this example. Do you remember what's, let's take an example, okay? Do you remember what is probably a circumcenter? A circumcenter. Do you remember? And the theorems associated with circumcenter. Do you remember what is an orthocenter? Classic example. Do you remember what is a centroid? Do you remember what is an in radius, right? All these terms should come naturally to you. If they are not coming naturally to you at this stage, and if you have studied, that's important. You are not going to study it for the first time. If you have not studied, leave it. If you have studied, I think these are the things that you want to revise. So what are you going to revise, right? You are going to start probably revise the geometry theorems. You are going to probably revise those coordinate geometry formulas. You know what coordinate geometry is? A lot of formulas, right? Distance between two parallel lines. Distance of a point. If you drop a perpendicular to a point, like right? length of that perpendicular, right? Such things probably you want to revise, right? So whatever is formula based, as I said, this was just an example, but all the formulas, okay, especially in geometry, I don't think there are too many formulas in quads, right? But you have some formulas, let's say in geometry. Let's say you have some formula in 3D mensuration. When I say 3D, because I know that area of a rectangle, area of a triangle, you know, but do you remember the volume of a pyramid? Do you remember the volume of a prism? Do you remember the total surface area of a, of a right circular cylinder, right? All these things you're going to revise. And then probably some amount of trigonometry as well, okay? And then a bit of statistics, a bit of statistics, especially questions related to standard deviation, standard deviation, okay? Standard deviation. Why do I say? Because these are things that students tend to leave. Standard deviation. Take a note of this. Why? It's not that you will get five questions on standard deviation. But if you get one question, that question will be formula based. Formula based. You can't afford to miss them. Similarly, have you forgotten the concept of escalators? These are very small topics and students tend to forget. Escalators. Have you forgotten the concept of escalators? If yes, please go back and try out four sums. Right? Escalators. 
what else is there which is formula based again as i said formula based because formulas are things that you want to recall right these are things you want to revise in this last few days because as i said the best part about these things are they are going to be formula based geometry is going to be theorem based you know the theorem you're going to apply it you don't know it you can't recall it you can't apply it right what about lr what about lr in lr probably you might want to start a revise a bit on cubes if you don't do cubes for a long time people tend to forget do you want to revise graphs probably you can right graphs can you remember do you remember those 3d graphs the three dimensional graphs do you remember how to read them or have you forgotten how to read a 3d graph right these are things that you are going to be very careful about cubes 3d graphs right do you want to remember revise percentages obviously you can but percentage is something that we will not forget generally so i think it's fine even if you don't revise it thoroughly because there are no formulas as such but cubes 3d graphs right and i know some students are not very comfortable with games and tournaments but do you want to revise them especially if you have done it before remember you have done it before i keep repeating i'm not going to do it for the first time games and tournaments definitely revise it small topics right small 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 topics the good part is they will be formula based and you can't afford to miss them can you miss out a question on logarithm no you can't do you remember the concept of characteristic and mantis are in logarithm number of digits okay two to the power something and they you use log to find out the number of digits oh that's a good sum to revise because there is a tendency that you might just forget right so keep a note of these things that you are going to revise in the last few hours before the camp okay and i also recommend that on november 26 right november 26 i know you are just going to revise relax but just have just have a quick revision on geometry theorems a quick revision on geometry theorems you don't have to revise the entire thing and feel frightened right on geometry theorems what are you going to revise you're just going to open your notes and then look at probably it's a tangent what are the formula what are the theorems related to tangent okay you have a chord and a tangent what are the theorems related to a chord and a tangent right apollonius theorem right so just like that 30 60 90 triangle what are the ratio of their sides are you able to recall because recollecting is very important right so these things you are going to revise in this few days okay this is the revision part of it from revision part part of what revision on things that people tend to forget that's what i just talked about next what i'm going to talk about is see when you have revise also there are certain parts to it right now what i talked about is revision about things which you might forget now from an weightage perspective from an weightage perspective right weightage you know what in quants arithmetic and algebra are most important in quants arithmetic and algebra are most important most important is arithmetic and algebra so you are going to practice and spend most of your time doing arithmetic plus algebra in the next few hours arithmetic and algebra you are going to revise it thoroughly very thoroughly you are going to do a revision of arithmetic and algebra because maximum weightage and if you are remember maximum weightage when i say i i would i i think it would be safe to say if you are good in arithmetic and algebra you are going to clear the cutoffs in quants you are going to clear the cutoffs in quants so very very important that you revise arithmetic and algebra okay now apart from revision what else should you do apart from revision what else should you do at this stage okay i would strongly recommend sectional test sectional test okay so take small sectional test when i say sectional test let me make myself very clear no mocks no mocks in these in the last few days in the last two three days that are remaining or four days that are remaining you are not going to write any mock but you are going to give some sectional test and if possible okay the sectional test that you take take three sectional tests one after the other take three sectional 
test okay one after the other one after the other okay one after the other and when i say three basically i mean lr so uh, let's put it let's put lr quants and verbal quants and verbal right v a r c you're going to take three sectional tests and one after the other continuously why i is again stress on the word continuous in my nine years of experience that i have have on on preparing students right? i have trained thousands of students for the cat in this nine years i have very often come across really good students who do not fare well in the quant section they don't fare well in the quant section okay they are do not fare well here in the quant section the reason is not that they don't know quants these are students who are really good in quants but the problem is no lack of concentration people like you people like me for most of us we are, are not used to sitting 2 hours at a stretch please and it's a request make your mind train your mind to sit continuously okay and continuously okay for 2 hours at a stretch and in the same time slot in same time slot as cat in same time slot as cat very 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 important because on sunday the november the 27 when you go and take the cat it should just be that another normal day you should not be feeling stressed you should not be feeling you know what probably after lunch you are not used to taking a test just after lunch or probably you are not used to waking up so early and appearing for a test early morning but if cat is slot one for you the next three days it is essential that you train your body and your mind okay and adjust your body cycle so that the body cycle is 100% efficient in that particular time slot the time slot which is your cat time slot very 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 important continuously why because you want to train your mind to sit continuously for 2 hours at a stretch without using concentration very 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 important so why sectional test you know what on the day of the cat you will have a lot of new questions when i say new i do not and in absolute and i'm making myself absolutely clear right i do not mean questions whose concept you don't know but the wordings will still be a bit different you might know how to solve a question on cubes but on the day of the cat it will just be a direct indirect speech someone else will be framing the question his way of framing will be different concept will still be the same so you should train your mind in this last few days right to attempt new questions does it matter how many questions you got right absolutely what matters is things like did i pick up the right question did i make a silly mistake did i forget a concept all these things matter marks no longer matter in this last few days absolutely not i'm not going to ask you how many questions did you get correct in the sectional test no but you know what the sectional test is a means for you to improve could you attempt all the 22 or, or probably could you read all the 22 questions for the quant section could you did you were you able to read the vrc passages nicely on the last passage you actually had to hurry up such questions these are things that you got to improve in the last few days you can't improve on knowledge now i'll be very frank with you you can't improve on knowledge if you don't know let's say how to solve a trigonometric question or for that matter how to solve let's say a pnc question you, will, you cannot you cannot learn pnc in the next two or two days but you know what what you can learn is probably can i know how to leave out a pnc question if i see a pnc question i know that i have not studied can i leave it or probably you know what you have done number system but suddenly you don't remember the formula of sum of factors of a number can you recall that formula you have a question you can't recall learning is going back having that formula in mind jotting it down and being able to recollect on november 27 that's the learning you're going to take out of this list okay very 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 important these last few days we are see also please read new passages at least one sectional test of vrc every day right every day i would say one sectional test at a minimum right 
where you are going to read new passages where you are going to answer and remember in vrc when you make a mistake please do not okay just read the answer and go to the next question we are seeing the next few days it's not about how many passages you uh, you actually practice in the next few days no doesn't matter what matters is you, your answer choice and your answer choice right and correct answer choice and let's say correct answer it could be both of them are same super awesome it could be both of them are same super awesome right but let's read the explanation provided by the author is he providing the same explanation that you have thought of when you pick that answer or it could be your answer choice you marked option d but the correct answer choice is option a for fine first read why is d incorrect what is the justification that the author is giving to rule out d are you convinced about that ask yourself those questions right very very important it's more important to identify your mistakes not about how many questions you solved in this last few days doesn't matter trust me on that when i say it absolutely doesn't matter just more and more focus on the mistakes that you're making focus on the accuracy that you need to have on the vrc on the twans and on the lrdi section of the app fine that's about the preparation part of it that's about the preparation part of it. Now, apart from that, what else is required in this last few days? What else is required in this last few days, right? Last few days, there are some things more which distinguishes a topper, okay? Last five days, last five days. I think, uh, leave aside all this, you need to have a mental strategy, a mental strategy. When I say a mental strategy, what do I mean? You're going to ask yourself this question, okay? Take a pause. You are studying for the last one year. What are you going to do differently if you've not been able to improve? Something you've got to do differently, right? You know what? Ask yourself these questions. As an example, ask yourself, what happens if paper is tough? What happens, let's say, if VARC is tough. VARC is tough. Right? You know what? Last five years data, for that matter, I will say last seven years data, okay? Last seven years data. If you look, last seven years data, you know what? 50% of the net marks. 50% of the net marks, okay, 50%, approximately 50% of net marks, of net marks, okay, translates to a 99 plus percentile, 99 plus percentile. And you know this data, I've been telling you, students who attend my classes, I keep telling them 50%. So if there are, let's say, 20 questions in L LRDI, 20 questions, 60, 60 marks, you get around 9 of them correct, around 10 of them correct, around 30 marks. It'll be 99 plus percentile, 50%. But ask yourself, if the VRC paper is tough, first thing, what will you do? How are you going to adjust your strategy? Has there been a mock, okay? Has there been a mock, okay? Look at a mock, mock data. Look at a mock data, mock exam data. Take a mock exam data, okay? Mock exam data where the VRC was actually very tough, look at the percentile, look at the cutoffs. How low did the cutoffs go, right? How low did the cutoffs go? Did it go to probably 15 marks? Did it go to, let's say, 18 marks? You should have an idea about that. Not only VRC, and I, and I pulled out VRC for the simple reason, VRC is section one of your CAT. Can a VARC performance effect or be carried over to an LRDI. Let's say you find, found VRC very tough. Can it affect your LRDI strategy? Can it affect your LRDI section? And can it affect in turn your quad section? Answer is no. Have you trained your mind for that is important. It's, trust me, these are the things that are going to differentiate a successful aspirant from someone who does not 
probably do very well in the CAT. Very small things. Have you given a thought to this? You have just been learning, learning, solving questions like a machine. But have you given a thought to this? Not only VRC, what happens if LRDI is tough? Look at the mock data. When the LRDI paper was tough, was it one and a half set or two sets that was more than enough to clear the cutoff? Did you look at those data? If yes, on the day of the exam, you just can't, you just can't decide on the go that day, right? You're going to have it in mind. Okay, we are so tough. You know what? I'm going to reduce my attempts. Attempt less. But you know what? Because the cutoffs are going to go less. Ask yourself these questions. Similarly, what happens if VRC is easy? Very easy. How high has the cutoff gone in your mocks? Did you look at those data? Very, 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 very important. Right? Very important. Second thing. Second thing. Right? It is essential that you keep taking, I mean, between, say, between sections, between sections, okay? It is essential that between sections, you keep taking deep breath, okay? You keep taking some deep breath, okay? And sip water, deep breath, okay? And sip water, very, very, very essential. You might be thinking, if I drink water, I might lose five seconds. But you know what? Take a breath. At least I have never found myself being able to concentrate continuously, continuously for two hours. Once you are done with the VRC section, I know immediately LRDI starts. But take a pause. What happened in VRC? Forget it. You did very well. Fine. You're going to start something new. You did very poorly. Doesn't matter. Now is the chance. To ensure that you make up because there are colleges in the country where which does not ask for sectional cutoffs. IMT Ghaziabad, it will just ask you an overall cutoff. Doesn't matter if VRC did not go well. Please go now. LRDI and Quants is coming now. It's your turn. Forget about it. Take a sip of water. Relax. Five seconds, ten seconds. Doesn't gonna not gonna make a difference. It's gonna relax. Give you up, give yourself some bread, give yourself some time. Then the new focus, start section two, right? Very, very, very important. And especially in LRDI, I would say once you are done with VRC, have a deep breath, sip some water, and now you know what? Look at the questions. Look at the questions. Look at the questions. When I say questions, look at the questions. I mean to say spend some 120 seconds. Spend some 120 seconds deciding which questions to attempt next. Which questions to attempt. You know what? When I say questions, I mean which sets. Let's say there are five LRDI sets. Spend two minutes figuring out out of the five, which are the first two sets that you are going to attempt. Remember many a times, two sets, two and a half sets, more than enough to clear LRDI kind of two sets, just two sets, and I'm repeating, just two sets in LRDI sufficient to clear the cutoffs, right? Just two and a half, three, you are sure that you're going to clear. Two sets, good enough. You are bang on the target. So that 120 seconds, right? Figure out which sets you are going to attempt. Do I mean that in 120 seconds, you read each and every question in LRDI? No, I'm just saying, have a glance. Probably the last set, set number five, is a sitter. It is a simple set, let's say, on percentage change. You can't go in serial order, right? Figure out, oh, last set is very easy. Let me attempt this set first. You know what? Second set, it's a Venn diagram set. I'm very good at Venn diagrams. Let me attempt that set. So these are two sets I'm going to attempt first. Very, 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 very important. As I say, LRDI, the selection of sets, you select the correct sets, 50% of the job is done. You select the wrong sets, you are going to make your life very, very, very difficult. Okay? So selection of sets comes in really handy in LRDA. Okay? On the day of the cap. On the day of the cap. Fine? Also, in LRDI, in LRDI, okay, ask yourself, in the last, how many? Last 30 seconds? Last 30 seconds or probably last 20 seconds, right? Last 20 seconds, okay? In L LRDI section, 
you are not you will not be able to solve much can you start a new set in the last 20 seconds no. right but can those 20 seconds give you that much required pause give you that much required deep breath right before you start mock and help you to score well in mock i think it does last 20 seconds of lrdi you will anyway not be able to solve a new question you will hardly be able to solve a new question so probably you can utilize that 15 seconds last 15 seconds in lrdi take a pause sip some water take a deep breath and then just wait start once with a rigor with a new rigor with a new sense of energy very 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 important and i keep talking about this strategic pauses in between because they help the human mind okay do you know what to be back at 100 percent efficiency once again right fine so these are the strategies that you are gonna follow that you are gonna follow in the next few days what else what else do you need to remember in this last five days i would say the last five days what about the last day before the cat the last day before the cat right that's also very important okay last day before the cat november last day before cat last day before cat. before cat. now november i'm talking about november 26 you are just gonna chill just chill you're not going to tire yourself don't play outdoor games you don't want to injure yourself you don't want to tire yourself probably you know what watch a movie watch a movie watch a movie i would suggest watch a movie relax keep relax or probably listen to a song listen to songs or speak to friends okay listen to songs speak to friends whatever chills and relaxes you do that do that very very important don't don't study as i said the, what do you want to study probably the geometry theorem of 30 minutes 45 minutes revision of the geometry formulas 30 45 minutes revision of the number system formulas more than enough apart from that don't do anything and most importantly have a sound sleep have a sound sleep on saturday night on 26th night 26th night very 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 important you know what most of you must be going to bed let's say you, you go to bed every day at 10 pm 11 pm that day go to bed early why trust me and i've gone through this november 26 11 pm if you go to bed and let's say you're the morning slot you cannot sleep at 11 pm because your mind will be very anxious there'll be a lot of things coming to your mind what will happen tomorrow you cannot be sleeping you i think it will take at least two three hours to sleep count the time as well when you go to bed because at the end of the day what matters is how many hours you have slept and did you do you have a fresh mind when you go to answer the cat on november 27 so go to bed early if possible go to bed i will say around 8 p.m 8 30 p.m so that you have those two extra hours when you are lying in the bed thinking about all the things that are going to happen tomorrow trying to recall those formulas don't do that right Try to sleep. I know it's very difficult to sleep, but try to sleep well because your performance also matters not only on how much you know, not only on how much you practice, but you know what? It also matters on how efficient is your brain and how relaxed is your brain on November 27. On November 27. You get the point? Very, very, very important. I would also say carry a bottle of water bottle of water when i say bottle of water you you don't want every time to stand up and ask the invigilator for water right so carry a bottle of water just ensure it's a transparent bottle it's a transparent transparent why because if it is not transparent they might not allow you to carry that bottle inside to carry that bottle inside and also appropriate clothings appropriate clothings see again someone might be thinking why am i talking about all this but you know what these also matters they also affect your performance what is appropriate clothing remember you are gonna go inside a room 
where there might be a centralized AC on. It might be really cold in many parts of the country. You might be entering a room where there might be a centralized AC and you are not wearing a sweater. You are not wearing a jacket, a proper jacket. You might be feeling cold. And if you feel cold, you never know that might affect your performance. Right? Better to carry a warm, warm, some warm clothes with you. Wear something warm. Because you know what? Even if it is hot, you can always open it outside, keep it, rather than feeling cold. Because if you're feeling hot and if you have, and if you have a layer above you, right? I always feel you can open the jacket and you already all, always have a t-shirt. That's perfectly fine. Contrary, if you're wearing only a t-shirt and you're feeling cold, you can't help. You simply can't help. So appropriate clothing, right, is also very essential on the day of the cap. On the day of the cap. Fine. I have talked a lot in this last few minutes have talked a lot right but again remember all of you are going to do well in the cat as i said cat is just one of the many exams that you are going to write so don't worry about it just chill right you have written so many exams so many exams still made and i give you a, 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 a give you a probably something to relate to right when i was in class 10 i don't know if it happened with you it happened with me at least when i was in class 10 your parents must have told you this is the most important exam in your life. You do well in cl class 10 boards exam, life is set. Fine. You did that. Life, I mean, was life settled after that? Was it actually a fact that after 10, that's the most important exam? No. After that, 12 came. 12 boards came. Your parents told you the same thing. Most important exam. You do well and you'll get into an IIT. This is the exam that's going to decide your career. Anything like that happened? You are still preparing for a post-graduation. You are still aspiring to do an MBA because 12, you know, was not the most important exam. Then came the entrance examination. Then came the entrance examination and probably graduation exams, placement exams. Life settled after that? Life did not settle after that, right? Life still did not settle after that, right? Why? There's something more. Same thing with the cat. Life will not settle even after the cat. There is to be something more also. So do not take it as a do or die situation. Do not take it as a do or die situation, right? Remember, it's just one more exam. You have written so many exams. Cat is just going to be one more exam that you are going to write, right? That you are going to write. Fine? Okay. With that note, uh, I'll leave the forum open for the last 10 minutes. I mean, if there are questions, I can see one question on YouTube live. Tomorrow is the last day to apply for IFT and step. Which one to go? I would suggest go for both. I would suggest go for both, right? You should go for both because you know what? You are maximizing your probability of cracking an MBA entrance exam and getting into a B school if you write all the exams. So definitely write all the exams because that way you are maximizing your probability of getting into a school. Anything else? Any other question? Okay. Okay then. Thank you. Hope you enjoyed the class, right? And I wish you the very best because I know that all of you are going to do well in the CAD. All of you are going to do well in the CAD. Just do not take tension. Just do not